guys do it on a dime here. My favorite organizing and budget tips for teachers in their classroom, because this is like only my favorite thing to do ever. I'm obsessed with repurposing old containers that most people throw away. My favorite kind of container is this dishwash soap kind, because look, no screw off lid. And all I did was paint this with chalkboard paint and I can change out the labels and these stack super well into any cabinet. I love these things. I also adore empty baby wipe containers because you can store classroom manipulatives in them. Plus they have really cute patterns and I put these on the tables in my classroom and when the kids see them, they know they can't open them until I've given all the directions and it really builds a lot of excitement. Most free containers that you get are round and a great way to store them is on a wine rack. These things are a dime a dozen at thrift stores and it's great because you can see everything that you have in the shelf so nothing gets lost in the back. P.S. Did you know that hot glue is a perfect way to adhere laminated things to cinder block walls? Yeah, that tip changed my life. I love this system for when kids miss class. Label file folders 1 to 31 and put the work that you do each day of the month in each folder. So that way kids have accountability if they're gone. You will love this. This is one of my favorites of my classroom. I love using cups to assess student learning. Kids put out a blue cup on their desk when they understand an assignment and an orange cup when they need extra help. I don't use red because red to me means stop, whereas orange means I'm being a problem solver until the teacher can come help me. These are easy to use, easy to store, and great for organizing who understands and who needs extra help. Most people want to get rid of their CD racks because who listens to CDs anymore? These are awesome for the classroom to store manipulatives, projects that are drying, or even technology that you have easily fits into these slots and sits upright on your desk. I hope you guys enjoyed these thrifty tips. Leave me your comments down below about your favorite ways to organize your classroom or could you use any of these tips around your house? And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!